Okay, this boss is c actually kind of tough because it has soul blur. That allows the stu hey, the, uh, to inflict faint on me and pretty much stun lock me into oblivion. Worse yet, any attack on a fainted character will result in critical damage. Looks like we are. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. Ugh, this was a complete waste of time. Pointless busywork at best. Considering the school's esteemed founder, I was expecting more of a challenge. But nothing here posed even a modest threat. Did we even fight the same enemies? I feel like I've been stretched to my limits. And what was all that business about Class 7 anyway? Good question. We've got people here from different backgrounds, classes, even cultures. Is there some sort of secret agenda with this whole Class 7 thing that we just don't know yet? What was that? There. The statue? What the heck is that? A gargoyle come to life? What sorcery is this? Oh no. Did, did the other students have to fight this thing too? Why only us? Unless they had their own boss. Are monsters like this common in the Empire? Not outside of old wives' tales they aren't. Oh, the sink's cutting off our only route to the surface. No choice. We have to fight it. Right. I may I have to go back and grind. Holy shit. Idios, help us. Oh, everything we have. My turn. All right, let's do this. I'll leave it with Ah, uh, it's already casting. I need to impede it immediately. I need to cast all kinds of arts on it. It's pretty. It has really high defense. Oh no! It's my turn. No, he's going for the one guy who can impede him as well. What a dick! Ah. Uh. Oh no. I really wish I could delay this thing. So I'll end up behind it for now. Of course, it's going to go for the one guy who's down. Do I even have- I only have free EP charges. Uh, my turn. No, I should have had Reen use healing because healing is constant in this series for some reason. Alright, better heal you, Juice, this, just in case. I suppose I should thank you. Huh. 
No. My turn. Not letting you do that again. It's my turn. Alright. Since... Uh, This little cast resounding beat on these two. Oh, I burned it! Nice! My turn. Oh, yes, burning. That's the key to victory. I need to set this damn thing on fire. Well, I might as well make use of this one last strength buff and just Gale Stinger it. Come on, sound fire again! Yes! Okay. Might as well stack another resounding beat on these two. More defense. My turn. Point, you're just better off using spells. Come on. Alright. I'm I can use I want to set on fire. That seems to be really effective in terms of damage. Leave it to me. That didn't do much. Oh no, it's changing its form. That means it's losing some of its weaknesses. Oh, I got a crit turn as well, and I don't have an S craft. Oh. Never mind. Guess I get that. Okay, let's resounding beat the, uh, the, uh, these two. Still heavily resistant, huh? Okay, it's weak to uh, weaker to earth now and still weak to fire. Neutral to everything else. Hmm, this one might d I don't think that uh, this is I don't they don't show me the damage multipliers for the th for arts unfortunately. I wonder if I can blind it would that help? I don't think it can be blinded. Should still be weak to fire. Come on. That didn't do much. What the? Its magic defenses are too high now. Okay, but... In that case, I'm just gonna have to have green buff on his next turn. Holy crap! Well, at least it's not uh, one with a status effect, but it still hit like a truck. I should still... No, it's too dangerous to get too close, though. should move closer to it so I can get juices with the buff as well. Hopefully it's it's uh, hopefully it, it dropped Soul Blur from its skill lineup. I don't think I can count on that though. Squall. Oh no.
That completely ruins my plan. Might as well just use this healing spell on Elliot. Arcus, activate. Very well. Okay, now is a good time to cast Motivate. Right, let's do this. I'll handle this. Holy crap! That was its physical attack. My turn. Holy crap. Oh no. Here we go. Oh, this one impedes. I should use it. Oh no. That might... Uh, out of the fire into a frying pan, huh? Leave it to me. You're not buff, so I think you might be better off just throwing a tear bomb onto... Elliot here. I have to adjust my formation the first chance I get. My turn. Oh, my turn. That bastard. Okay, I'm gonna get behind you now. Yeah, let's... Holy shit. Let's use a battle scope real quick. I don't want to attack it while I'm wounded, otherwise I could get killed by a counter-attack. I suppose I should thank you. It's my turn. I miss Earth Guard spam so much right now. Here we go. All right. Perfect. This is really bad. I suppose I should thank you. Leave it to me. My turn. Okay, let's move you over a bit. My turn. Uh, I can't... Wait a minute, I have 20 EP. Do I have enough to... Oh no, it's delayed! Get 
Okay, don't want to waste that just yet. All right, countered. All right. Okay, my strength buff is starting to wear off. Let's motivate again. All right, let's do this. Very well. My turn. Oh shoot, I thought he was out of its range, but he was wrong. At least this time I can... Okay, Elliot heal... self. Yeah, I better have you tear bomb yourself. Really sucks they don't let me buy items for this very first boss. Alright. Ah! I don't have many heals left. You guys better finish this soon. Okay, it's almost dead. Just one or two more hits. Hey, this time I managed to get through without anyone dying. I did have to use a ton of items though, so it wasn't a that great of a victory. Oh, I got a poison. I got the poison <laughs> quartz. Nice. Learned something new already. Come on. Well, that should be the end of it. What are you talking about? It's still, if it's still breathing, it's not the end. It's, it's gonna fight back like a wounded beast, and then chances are the teacher will have to save your ass or something like that. It always happens in the no, trails down, games. That's one hell of a second wind. Yeah, hit hit points don't really matter for enemies in this game. No matter how much hit, even if you deplete their whole hit point bar, they're just like, oh, that didn't count. I'm still perfectly healthy. I can appreciate a certain degree of tenacity, but this thing needs to just die. It's no use. We're too spent to go another. I guess I have no choice. Stand back. Wait, weren't we ahead of them? <gasps> Seems like you're all okay, at least. Or did they try to search the back, uh, uh, search in the back area while we were moving forward? I'm sorry we took so long. You're here. That's what counts. So a gargoyle, is it? I didn't expect to find the Dark Ages alive and well down here. It doesn't seem like it'll go down easily. Indeed. It's brushing us off as though we barely even scratched it. But with this many of us, we can just find an opening? Fine. I guess I'll help out. Looks like you started the party without me. Oh, I guess he managed to find Fee by himself. You. Releasing Limiter. Take this! Bring shot! That'll lower its defenses a bit. Ugh, it's like she just stuck her weapon right up its ass. An opening. Go. This 
Oh, too bad. I was hoping we could keep it as a trophy hanging up on the wall or something. We did it! <sighs> I think that's the end of it. At the very least, that creature doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle. Now that you mentioned it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. It was like each of us were engulfed in some faint blue light. What? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat. But I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think it was just your imagination. It's probably that link system that was in the prologue, where sometimes we would... Uh, with if we uh, unbalance the enemy, then one the, the other person that we're linked with would follow up with their own attack. Agreed. I have a feeling what we just experienced was... The biggest selling point of the almighty Arcus? Give this man a prize. Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. I'm so proud of you guys. Anyway, that about finishes up today's special orienteering exercise. Aw, what's with the long faces? I thought you'd all be happy. I don't think anyone would be happy being pushed down a pit. What are we supposed to be happy about? I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean, we get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Hmm. That is a valid question. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus orphans you got there. But you gave that to us after we were chosen for Class 7, right? How so? Well, like I explained earlier, the Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ordnance, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. That's the phenomenon you all experienced just now. So that's what that was. Seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. Precisely. Doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync, even in the most chaotic conditions. And chances are the enemy will have their own uh, Arcus orbits. You can hardly put a price they on that! They always have a technological advantage on us. It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Hmm. It does sound rather... Idealistic. Well, yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just... don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. And since aptitude trumps background in class seven, well, here you are. There's an aptitude for this fu function as well. I thought people only had aptitudes for uh, ornament lines and elements. I see. 
But what gives us this aptitude, though, as compared to our peers? It just seems so random. What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. That pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. But this program isn't cheap to run, so we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. You should also be aware that Class 7's curriculum will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just fair warning. Why? So now you know. And that leaves you all with an important decision to make. Will you stick with Class 7 or not? Well, that might be something good to put on a college application or resume. Say you've got the harder, a harder class than most other people. If you can survive it, that is. Oh, if you opt out, you'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. Where would... Nobles will land in class one or two. Commoners in three, four, or five. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure you'd fit in just fine. I'll do it. Whatever Class 7 has to throw at me, I'm game. Oh, wait, what? Just like that? So you're the first, then. You seem pretty sure about it. Any particular reason? Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. Hmm, a noble sentiment. Count me in as well. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit, after all. Let's make it three. Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before I even started. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board, and our foreign exchange student, too. Any more takers? Allow me to take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity. So I feel it's my duty to help in any way I can. S sign me up too! I kind of feel like fate brought us here for a reason, you know? And we all seem pretty easy to get along with. All? And that's a yes from our two Orbal staff testers. Though I feel compelled to remind you. Your weapons are still in the prototype stage, so on top of your other work, I'll be expecting reports from both of you. Huh, of course. If only they developed these back in trails in the sky. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Let me join too. Huh? Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. It does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back, I'd never amount to much. <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you, P? Don't really care either way. You can choose. Not this time. This is one call you're gonna have to make for yourself. That was the deal, remember? You need to take control of your own life. <sighs> Fine, I'm in. <sighs> well, at least you committed. We've got a magnificent seven now. Which leaves just the two of you. 
I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. Like hell we will! The exploitation of the common people by the aristocracy is a blight on every facet of Erebonian life. Unless something is done about it, this country has no future. I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Well, at least that makes this simple. I, Yusis Alvarea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Being in the same class as commoners should make you sick. I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. As far as the House of Alvarea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. <laughs> that said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis either. I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this, no? I don't need some pompous ass who coasts through life on his father's coattails telling me what to do. I'm in. Come hell or high water. Seems like he has a scar above his right eye. You might have had your successes. Where's his shadow? To now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies anymore. We'll see about that. <laughs> They're going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. They're having a normal conversation now? Spoke too soon. Too hard on the kettles. Give a guy a break. Well, how about that? Nine out of nine. With that, I'd like to congratulate all of you on being the first ever Class Seven. I hope you keep those high spirits all year, because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll need it. <laughs> Uh, I've still not recovered from the stress of school. Well, well, I wasn't expecting Class 7 to turn out quite as diverse as this. It certainly promises to be an interesting year. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Is that who I think it is? But perhaps this too is the divine providence of the goddess, no? How do you mean? Yeah, it's him. Seeing them there, I feel they have the potential to be the light we seek. It's all avert. A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day. Well, they're giving us the opening again. I guess it's because we completed the prologue for real this time.
Oh, this could be this video could be long enough to make into its own episode. Continue. Whoa, we're skipping ahead so much already. Whoa, how much time just passed? That's way too much time. Horrible camera. Time to get going. Oh, green. Morning, Elliot. <laughs> Good morning. Are you heading to school now, too? How about we walk there together? Sure. It's getting late, though, so we might need to pick up the pace a little. No problem. I'm guessing everyone else left already, huh? I think so. I'm not sensing anyone else on this floor, at least. Gaius in particular is probably long gone by now, being the early riser he is. Uh, oh. Okay, then. He's not sensing anyone? What does that mean, exactly? I guess skilled martial artists can sense each other's presence. <gasps> More awkwardness. Mm. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Morning. Are you two on your way to school? Uh, yeah. Come on, Emma. We're going to be late. Wait for me, Elisa. We'll see you in class. Uh, it's been, has it's already been long. almost a month. She knows it was just an accident, right? She has to. Can't believe she'd be so sensitive. No kidding. She's not even giving me a chance to apologize to her. Well, as long as you keep trying, I'm sure she'll understand. Eventually. Class 7's got enough tension as it is, what with our two, uh, prideful warriors at each other's throats. So I think it would be a load off everyone's mind if you and Elisa could make up at least. I'll certainly do what I can, whatever that may be. Oh, I can't. I can't control them yet. Just hoping to walk around school looking for side quests and stuff. These past two weeks have really flown by, haven't they? It's funny. I went into this thinking combat practice would be the toughest part of the curriculum. Never would have guessed the academic side of things might give it a run for its money. Well, strong in body and mind is pretty firmly embedded into Imperial culture. I do get what you mean, though. I figured I'd be able to coast through the year, but I've had to very quickly reevaluate that. If it were me, I'd probably fail despite passing college. I seem to be losing motivation each year when it comes to learning. Uh, you too, huh? I wish I were as smart as Machius or Emma. They don't seem to be having any problems at all. I think all my brain power is pretty much taken up by mechanics for whatever games I'm playing. But then Emma got the top score on the entrance exam, and I'll bet you anything Machias wasn't far behind. I'm sure. Yusus and Elisa are apparently doing really well too. As are Laura and Gaius. Really? Guess I'm just gonna have to suck it up then. Though I really do hope they don't mind. Huh? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, sorry. 
You got me thinking about Eustace and Laura. I've been talking to them the same way I talk to everybody else, but they're both nobles, right? And Eustace's family rules over the whole eastern side of the Empire, so it feels like I should address them more formally. Well, they both said it was okay, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Though you probably shouldn't go picking fights with Eustace every chance you get, like a certain someone else. Oh, I don't plan on it. I'd hope they get along a bit better over time, but if anything, things seem to be spiraling downhill fast on that end. When the two of them are in the same room, there's just this constant tension in the air. It's not all Machias either. Eustace seems to enjoy provoking him at every opportunity. Why is this flashback image so blurry? I can't even imagine what it would take to make them see eye to eye at this point. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do to help them get along. Follow the NPC. Be if we weren't in class seven. Dormitory number two, for all the common folk like us. Yeah, I guess so, huh? I'm still kind of shocked that class seven gets to have its own dormitory. Though to be fair, I think that building was abandoned till this year. It seems like they renovated it just for us. Well, they did a good job. It's got a nice feel to it. I just wish it were a little closer to the academy. Hey, you're in our way. Step aside at once. Oh. That is one douchey looking face. <laughs> Class 7. Is something the matter? You're just a ragtag bunch of nobodies, aren't you? The best people to make an RPG party with. Come on, we're leaving. Yes, Patrick! A word of advice, you might be part of a special class, but that doesn't change who you are. Never forget your place. Of the upper classes. This is why I hate talking to them. Unfortunately, that attitude is all too common among the nobles. Thank goodness Laura and Eusis aren't like that. We never end up as boss battles so we can <laughs> put them in their place. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. That's the infamous dormitory number one, where all the nobility lives. It's supposed to be super fancy inside, with maids and butlers and everything. Wow, really? Guess that's our cue to pick up the pace. Yeah, sorry. I am gonna have to split this video, aren't I? Oh, hey, have you picked out a club to join yet? Doesn't sound like you have to or anything, but it's probably a good way to meet people. No, I'm still looking. It's hard to decide on one. I can't even imagine how my hard drive is feeling. I think we only have to do that in Japanese schools. I don't remember doing that in high school, except for maybe the Pledge of Allegiance. As I'm sure you're all well aware, the Erebonian Empire was driven to the brink of collapse roughly 250 years ago. He's got Coke glasses. This was brought about by the conflict we know as the War of the Lions. A civil war lasting several years, staged over the throne of the late Emperor by the most powerful of his potential successors. But of course, I'm not here to tell you that. If I were, I think even young children would be able to pass this course. <laughs> Rather, I'd like to 
discuss the effects this had on the Empire as members of the aristocracy were drawn into the war. Many hired mercenaries turned to looting and pillaging, and a similar trend could even be seen among some of the knights. The land was left utterly devastated, and morale was at an all-time low. But then, lo and behold, into this nightmare stepped a man. A man willing to take a stand against this bloody war of succession. He was a wandering prince who began to rally forces from the outskirts of the Empire, and would go on to make quite a name for himself. And that name, of course, was Dreykel's Rice Arno. He would later become known as Dreykel's the Lionheart, the 73rd Emperor of Erebonia, and father of the Renaissance. Not to mention the founder of this very academy. Dreykel's army was initially rather small in number. But as he traveled across the empire, winning over the hearts of influential sympathizers, his forces rapidly increased. Now, the place where Emperor Dreykel's first began gathering his army was... Schwarzer. Would you care to tell the class? Okay, I think this is the first choice that determines your AP gain. Nord Highlands. So Nord Highlands, a region northeast of Erebonia. They didn't bother voicing all the choices. Very good, Mr. Schwarzer. Prince Dreykel's wanderings led him to the land of Nord, where he lived with the Vagabonds for some time. It was there that he heard of the civil war taking place in Erebonia, and those Vagabonds of Nord became his very first allies. Yes, I got it right! Oh! I see, she... She, she had it written in her notebook. In order to help me cheat. I guess he didn't need my help after all. You should probably close that so it doesn't look like I am cheating. Making good decisions, acting appropriately, and completing quests, you will gain AP. Academic points. When you've accumulated enough AP, your rank will increase the next time you report a quest. There are 15 ranks, ranging from B0, B7 to A0, and every time your rank increases, you'll receive a perk from the Academy. Nice work, everyone. You made it through another grueling day of classes. In case you've been living under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day. In my free day, that me they mean complete as many side quests as possible to max out, maximize your AP because most of those quests are have a time limit. It's not technically a day off, but there are no classes, so it's up to you what to do with your time. Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to. Or just do what I do and sleep all day. Sleep is so wonderful. Don't listen to her, it's all about side quests and grinding. Will the Academy's facilities still be open for our use? Yes, I'd like to be able to use the free study area in the library myself. Of course! This school shuts down for no one, so feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. I see. I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should go over what's happening next week. On Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. Practical? Sounds like a mandatory battle. A practical exam? What does that entail exactly? It's part of your combat training. You'll be graded on your performance, so make sure you're well rested and ready for battle by then. Might be a good idea to do some training on your own time too, just to keep from getting rusty. Wonder if I might. Ha Hopefully, I can save those shining palm tickets for when I really need them, like the end of the game. Hmm. Interesting. I definitely don't like the sound of that. <sighs> oh, and one.
one more thing. After the practical exam is over, I've got another important announcement about a major part of Class 7's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all yet. I really hate when teachers don't uh, don't mention uh, the, uh, these kind of important details on the green sheet right from the beginning. By time you, I, uh, by, t by time it's the drop date, I uh, it might be too late. Here it comes. So, whatever you choose to do on your free day, make it count for something. That concludes today's homeroom. Machias, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow. Um. I'm a little worried about that practical exam next week. I mean, I'm still just getting used to the staff. I'd be happy to help you train if you need a sparring partner. The gymnasium looks big enough that I'm sure we'd have no trouble finding a good spot for it. That's very kind of you to offer. I was planning on attending club practice today. Oh, you've joined a club already? Which one did you pick? I uh, decided to try for the band. Though I'm not sure how much use they'll have for a violinist. I didn't know you played the violin. Did you pick it? Did you just pick it up for fun? Yeah, something like that. How about you, Gaius? Have you joined any of the school's clubs? I'm considering joining the art club. Art, huh? Somehow that's not what I pictured for you. No pun intended. Do you have any artistic experience? I dabbled in it back home. Taught myself, though, so I feel like this could be a good chance to learn proper technique. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'd love to see you, to see some of your work sometime. Why aren't these parts voiced? Oh good, you're still here. Instructor? Is there a problem? No, no, I was just hoping someone could do a teensy little favor for me. There's something I need picked up from the student council room. Something you need picked up? Am I getting extra AP for this? What would that be? Heh, <laughs> that's for me to know and you to find out. All and I'll... S all I'll say is, it's something absolutely essential to your school life. And somebody needs to go get it, though it doesn't matter who. Any volunteers? Sure, I'll go. If I show up in the student council room and tell them you sent me, they'll know why I'm there, right? Wait! Are you sure you don't mind? You do have clubs to go to, right? I'm still totally undecided, so this shouldn't be a big deal at all. I can look in on a few clubs myself along the way, in fact. Well, if you don't really don't mind... Thank you. The student council room is in the student union building next door, at the end of the hall on the second floor. It's open until quite late, so there's no rush. Thank you, my dear. I'll leave everything in your capable hands. That sounds suspicious. Uh, okay. And he's the only one in my party. Wait, no. What the? I can still see statuses for the, for the other two. And, oh, it's just 27 more experience, man. Alright, better end things here for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.